The Sphinx is a mythical creature with the head of a human and the body of a lion. It is one of the most iconic creatures from Greek mythology and has been the subject of countless stories and legends throughout history. The Sphinx is said to have been created by the gods as a guardian of the city of Thebes, and its riddle is one of the most famous in all of mythology. According to legend, the Sphinx was created by the goddess Hera to guard the city of Thebes. The creature was said to be so powerful that no mortal could defeat it, and it stood guard at the gates of the city, preventing anyone from entering or leaving without answering its riddle. The riddle of the Sphinx was famous throughout the land, and it was said that anyone who could solve it would be granted safe passage. The riddle of the Sphinx was as follows, what walks on four legs in the morning, two legs in the afternoon, and three legs in the evening? Many people tried to answer the riddle, but none could solve it. The Sphinx would devour anyone who failed to answer correctly, and soon the city of Thebes was in despair. The people of the city began to offer a reward to anyone who could solve the riddle, but still no one succeeded. Finally, a young man named Oedipus arrived in Thebes. He was traveling to the city when he encountered the Sphinx, and he accepted the challenge of the riddle. He thought about the riddle for a long time, and finally he realized that the answer was man. Man walks on four legs in the morning of his life, crawling as a baby, two legs in the afternoon of his life when he is able to walk on two feet, and three legs in the evening of his life when he uses a cane. The Minotaur is a creature from Greek mythology with the head of a bull and the body of a man. It is one of the most iconic creatures in Greek mythology and has been the subject of countless stories and legends throughout history. The Minotaur was said to have been created by the gods as a punishment, and its labyrinth is one of the most famous in all of mythology. According to legend, the Minotaur was born to Queen Pasiphae of Crete. She was the wife of King Minos, and she had fallen in love with a bull sent by the god Poseidon. She had Daedalus, a master craftsman, build a hollow wooden cow in which she could climb inside and mate with the bull. The result of their union was the Minotaur, a creature with the head of a bull and the body of a man. King Minos was horrified by the creature and ordered Daedalus to build a labyrinth to house it. The labyrinth was so complicated that no one could find their way out once they entered, and it was said to be impossible to escape. The Minotaur was then locked inside the labyrinth and fed with the flesh of Athenian youth sent as tribute to Crete as punishment for the death of Minos' son Androgeus. Theseus, a hero from Athens, decided to put an end to the annual sacrifices to the Minotaur. He offered to go to Crete as one of the sacrifices and to defeat the creature. King Minos agreed, and Theseus set sail for Crete with a group of other Athenian youths. The Chimera is a creature from Greek mythology that has the head of a lion, the body of a goat, and the tail of a serpent. It is said to have been born from the union of the monstrous Typhon and the Echidna, and it is considered one of the most fearsome and mysterious creatures of Greek mythology. According to legend, the Chimera was terrorizing the region of Lycia in southwestern Anatolia. It breathed fire and was invulnerable to weapons, making it nearly impossible to defeat. The king of Lycia, Iobates, sought the help of the hero Bellerophon to defeat the Chimera. Bellerophon was known for his bravery and skill with horses, and he was able to tame the winged horse Pegasus to help him in his quest. Bellerophon approached the Chimera on the back of Pegasus and shot arrows at it from above. The Chimera breathed fire at him, but Bellerophon was able to avoid it by flying out of range. Finally, Bellerophon was able to shoot an arrow into the Chimera's mouth, which lodged in its throat and suffocated it. The story of Bellerophon and the Chimera has been retold in countless works of art and literature throughout history. It has been depicted in paintings, sculptures, and even on ancient Greek coins. The image of the Chimera has also inspired many other mythical creatures, such as the Manticore and the Sphinx. The Kraken is a legendary sea monster that has been featured in myths and legends throughout history. It is said to dwell off the coasts of Norway and Greenland and is known for its enormous size and fearsome power. The Kraken has been depicted in art, literature, and film, and its legend continues to capture the imagination of people all over the world. According to legend, the Kraken is a giant squid-like creature that can grow up to 100 feet long. It has tentacles that can reach up to 50 feet in length and is said to be strong enough to drag ships and sailors down into the depths of the ocean. The Kraken was often depicted as having a massive, bulbous head and glowing eyes that could strike fear into the hearts of even the bravest sailors. The first recorded mention of the Kraken dates back to the 13th century, in the writings of the Norwegian historian and author, Erik Pontopidan. 
He described the Kraken as a creature that could swallow ships whole and create whirlpools with its powerful suction. Over time, the legend of the Kraken spread throughout Scandinavia and Europe, and it became a popular subject in art and literature. In the 19th century, the Kraken became a popular subject in works of science fiction and horror. It was featured in novels such as Jules Verne's 20,000 Leagues Under the Sea and H.P. Lovecraft's The Call of Cthulhu. In these stories, the Kraken was often portrayed as a mysterious and terrifying creature that lurked in the darkest depths of the ocean, waiting to strike at unsuspecting ships and sailors. The harpy is a creature from Greek mythology that is depicted as a bird with a woman's face and body. It is known for its viciousness and cruelty, and it was often said to torment and punish those who displease the gods. The harpy has been featured in art, literature, and film, and its legend continues to fascinate people all over the world. According to legend, the harpies were originally servants of the goddess Hera, who sent them to punish those who had angered her. They were known for their sharp talons and their ability to fly at incredible speeds. The harpies were often depicted as ravenous creatures who would swoop down from the sky to snatch food from people's hands, leaving them hungry and terrified. The most famous story involving the harpies is the tale of King Phineas. Phineas was a king who had angered the gods by revealing their secrets. As punishment, he was cursed with blindness and was constantly tormented by the harpies, who would swoop down and steal his food every time he tried to eat. The hero Jason and his Argonauts were sent to rescue Phineas, and they were able to defeat the harpies by trapping them in a cave. The symbolism of the harpy is important in Greek mythology. The creature is often seen as a representation of the dangers of unchecked ambition and the consequences of defying the gods. The harpy's bird-like features symbolize the freedom of the spirit, while its woman's face and body represent the power of desire. In this way, the harpy is seen as a warning against giving in to one's darkest impulses and urges. The harpy has also been used in modern times as a symbol of female empowerment. The creature's combination of bird and human features has been interpreted as a representation of the duality of femininity, with the bird symbolizing freedom and the human symbolizing power. The harpy has been featured in feminist art and literature as a symbol of the struggle for equality and the fight against oppression.